currently calling the case of the people of the state of Pennsylvania versus Hatcher. Under the charges of attempted murder and aggravated assault, how does the defendant plead? The defendant pleads not guilty, Your Honor. The people call Casey Hatcher to the stand for question. Ms. Hatcher, are you aware of the injuries on the night of November 14th? 2018. Are you aware these injuries left the victim in a coma? What was your relationship with the victim? Is it true you used to be friends with the victim? Did you take any part in this attack? I plead the fifth. My name is Parker Hatcher and I am the brother of the suspect. On the morning of the date in question, you were with your sister, is this correct? Yes, she drives us to school every morning. Would you say you feel safe around her? Absolutely. The defense would like to present some evidence at this time. Here, we have a video that was taken when your sister dropped you off at school that morning. <laughs> Alright guys, time to go to school. Thanks Casey. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Love you. Love you too. Bye guys. Just mere hours before the crime took place, your sister was carefree and loving. Nothing out of the ordinary for her. Mr. Hatcher, do you believe your sister would be capable of the crime in question? Absolutely not. No further questions, Your Honor. My name is Brooke Nelson, and I'm a friend and classmate of the suspect. Ms. Nelson, does this photograph taken on the night of the crime look familiar to you? Yeah, it was one of the pictures we took the night that we all hung out. Do you recognize this photograph taken later that same night? Hey, where are you going? I'm just gonna go get some air. All right, be careful. I will, I'll be back soon. Would you be able to tell me who was missing from this final photograph? Casey. Thank you, Miss Nelson. My name is Alex Bennett and I'm the boyfriend of the suspect. Mr. Bennett, there was evidence of a fist imprint on the victim's face. However, there was no evidence of any jewelry being present within that imprint. Could you identify whose ring this is? It's Casey's promise ring. Does Casey often wear this ring? Yes, every day. She says it's her good luck charm. So you're saying that if Casey were to have committed the crime she's being accused of, there would be a clear mark created by this ring on her finger? Yes. Hey, where were you? I just stepped out to get some fresh air. Are you sure? You were gone a while. Mm -hmm. You still wear that ring? It's like my good luck charm. I never take it off. I didn't know that. We talked about it that night. I know she had it on. Thank you. My name's Emma Campbell, and I am the suspect's best friend. Miss Campbell, you said that you frequently got into arguments with the suspect. Yes, but that's what best friends do. Is it reasonable for the prosecution to accuse Mrs. Hatcher, knowing that the only evidence in her favor is a ring that she could have easily taken off. Yes, but- Mrs. Campbell, the victim is in a coma. The offender conveniently has no alibi for the time frame in which the crime occurred. And the evidence brought up by the defense is flimsy at best. All the facts point in one direction. Can you look the jury in the eye and say that doesn't make perfect sense? That makes perfect sense. The members of the jury will now leave the courtroom to deliberate.